In number 9 I will finish modeling the new wings for the flying robot out of card and balsa wood, mostly focusing on the bridge joining either side of the wing. Join me as I draw, model, animate and film fantasy robots fighting in a machine only world. It's crossover steampunk mecha, it's the behind the scenes before there's even a film, it's retro Roboland. In number 8 I use my craft knife, balsa wood, cardboard and glue to make a new set of wings for the flying robot that will attach to the fuselage I built to number 3. Alright let's continue working on the wing, I have this idea that I want to smooth out a surface of the wing so I will use strips of material taken from this old yellow t-shirt that I will then glue to the outer side of the wing using wood glue like that. Now I will note here that I have removed the little surfboard stub things because they looked a little bit uh, big and clunky. This shot looks a cool, like a cool modern art sculpture using my rig uh, to glue the strips on then I'll cut the edges and paint over them with white gesso and then leave them to dry and move on to the struts for the wing bridge so I have drawn the outline for six struts which I will cut out as I do that let me give a shout out to one of my favorite youtubers and direct inspirations cut transform glue now what he does is to make cool mecha robots out of die cut plywood plastic parts from printers or other spare parts then poses them and paints them super realistic weathering cut transform glue is from Brazil his videos are entertaining and informative and I highly recommend you check his videos out links in the description let me just show you the original concept drawing this is what I'm making these struts here now I noticed that I am doing something off camera with the struts which seems foolish in retrospective but I think over time I'll be far more conscious of how I frame up a shot to demonstrate what I'm doing. So please persist with this channel, dear viewer. Alright, back to the drawing board. I am just drawing the top shape bridge, which will join the wings together. And I feel, rather than perpendicular uh, sides, two concave curves will look elegant in a suitable retro style. So I found a shape I like. I will transfer that to heavy card and then cut it out like that. I remember in the number 8 I cut out the pendulums out of balsa wood. Well here I have glued the pendulums, ink pen cartridge and the, and the card bridge together. And then I'll return all those struts with all those struts so that I took so long to cut out. And through trialing, placing them against the pendulum, I will gradually glue them all into place to replicate the design that I made on paper. And so I put those aside to dry and then this is what they look like, They're pretty cool in my humble opinion. Now notice on the inside of the wings I have left these long tabs. Well the idea was that I could cut them to shape the wing for the wing bridge so the way I measure this is that it narrows at the bridge which is uh, itself which you, as you will recall concave and once drawn up I will cut them out and fold the wing tab. And then I cut out both sides and I want to reinforce the light card so I trace the carved upper arch onto rigid cardboard and then cut them out with my craft knife and try it out on the bridge which uh, what I found was that the square edges did not fit right so I just shaved away the edges of the cardboard with my craft knife so that I have a better fit with the model then I glued on the upper wing supports and left them to dry which we're not going to watch obviously well, uh, every step of the mark, the making that I show here is accompanied by hour after hour of me thinking, oh, I wonder how I can attach the wing. Hence the next video where I demonstrate brainstorming of thought processes. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm just giving the tabs at the end of the wings the same concave curve shape as the bridge on the actual model. And once I've cut them out on both sides, Alright, so if you're going to make a little stand to glue on the wings, what I find is some classic literature and raisin boxes is sufficiently pretentious to suit <laughs> Albert Camus and Raymond Chandler providing the literature. The reason for the frame is that the wing needs to be kept in place while the glue dries. So I'm back to my sketch pad here. Uh, I'm just drawing on a couple of supports that will strengthen the wing bridge onto paper. Just to emphasize that this part is, it's like the upper part of the wing curving down to the bridge on either side. I've, I've cut out the shape, transferred that onto balsa, then I cut out the shapes um, 
which like the, lid, the initial wings originally had a very square and boxy shape to them. Okay, so I have cut out those shapes now. Now this shape I want to curve, I want is a curve that joins the two wings and looks like the middle of the suspension bridge. So just measuring out the sides to get the right shape. So I draw the angles on paper and then I take a center point uh, around the valley and use my compass to make the shape that I am after. And then of course I trace that onto tracing paper, graphite onto the reverse, trace onto balsam wood, trace over the faint graphite with ink pen, and then use my craft knife to cut out the shape that I'm after. And I just chip away, chip away at the shape with the craft knife to get the right look and fit on the bridge, at which point I glue it into place. Now then remember the other struts had very square edges, so we'll just shave them down a little bit so that they are nice and aerodynamic and retro looking. Almost there, just a little bit more shaping with the craft knife. So I am happy. I will take my glue and glue those pod shapes onto the wing bridges, kept in place with the peg, and leave them to dry. And that's it for this video. In number 10, a complete change of pace, I'll introduce Edward de Bono's six thinking hats and use his techniques to do a brainstorming session on the best way for a flying robot to blow up the living machine. Thanks for watching, click like and subscribe. Over there you can start the playlist from the beginning, it's going to get longer and longer. Over there, that's what the YouTube algorithm chooses. Thanks for watching, bye bye.